you know, we all have different ideas of what we think natural looks like for teeth. And I have my idea of what I think natural looks like. And my patients think, you know, they have different ideas of what natural looks like to them. And of course I'm right because I'm the dentist. No, I'm kidding. That's not necessarily the case. You know, there is such a variety of what we see with natural teeth that we can't really say that this is what natural teeth do. However, uh, there is, um, there is a, like a center bell curve for teeth. Like most people have teeth that do this or do that. And then there's outliers for teeth where, you know, you don't usually see people who have teeth like that. And so what I like to do is when I see patients in the office, what I want to do is make sure that when I do their veneers, their porcelain veneers, I want to make sure that I don't turn them into an outlier. I want to make sure that what I do is I provide for them veneers or teeth that look like people have in the center of the bell curve. For example, most people on the planet have a central incisor, one of their two front teeth that is typically around 10 millimeters long. And the percentage or width to height ratio of that front tooth would be 80% width to height ratio. So if their tooth was 10 millimeters long, it would be about eight millimeters wide, which would be 80% width to height ratio. If somebody came to me and they said, I want my teeth to be much longer than they are now, and they were already 80% width to height ratio. And I said, well, if we make them that much longer, we're gonna make them like 60% width to height ratio, which would make you from where you are normal or have a natural looking central incisor to make you someone who has an, is an outlier. Not normally people have teeth that narrow, so that would be unnatural for you. And so knowing the principles of smile design, knowing what normal people have for their teeth helps me and assists me in being able to make sure that I make, that my patients have natural looking teeth. And that, and that is the goal. But there are other characteristics of teeth that will make them look natural. And size and razor spaces, color, textures, translucencies, all these things go into it to make teeth look really natural. But, you know, it's all subjective and it's all really depends on what the patient likes and depends on what the dentist likes and what the ceramist, the person who makes the veneers, likes to do. You and I could really love natural teeth. We could really like curves to the teeth, textures, and translucencies. And we could have brilliant, grand ideas for what we think teeth should look like. But then if I go and send my case, my work, which would be your future porcelain of veneers to a technician who has no idea how to perform any of those types of things for their final veneer, we're all going to be disappointed. So a lot of it has to do with the technicians who are actually making the porcelain veneer. I call that the builder. In, in these terms, I would be the architect. And most of my patients come to me as if they were designing a new house for themselves. And when you have an idea for what you want for your new house, you say, yeah, I want four bedrooms, 4,000 square feet, I want a pool, I want it to be kind of a modern contemporary looking home, you would come to me as if I was the architect. And instead of talking about your home, you'd be talking about your new smile. And you say, God, you know, I really want it to be white enough and I want it to be fill out my smile this way and I want it to be long enough to make sure it shows when I'm smiling. And I, and I take this information, I say, okay, I process that information then I can show you pictures of other people whose a smiles have improved, and I say something like this or something like that, and we get a good idea of what we want your teeth to look like. And that way, I'm an architect, and I start designing your new teeth, your new smile, based off of other teeth and smiles that we've seen, or maybe you've seen off of celebrities or magazines or what your teeth used to look like. We design two-dimensionally what your teeth are going to look like, and then we have to work with a builder, somebody who we know is going to be able to perform to the abilities that we need them to perform to be able to give you a smile that you and I both want for you. And if we don't work with the right builder, we're not gonna get what we want. And so you understand, as I understand, that it's not just you and I, it's also the builder. So we incorporate that into it as well. Some builders are amazing at what they do and can do one thing very, very well. Some builders can do anything you ask of them because they're just incredible artists. And some, out of the box, they do just an amazing job that we know they're gonna perform for us every single time. So it's up to the architect to work with you to pick the right builder. And you can't just always send, thing to the, send everything to the same person. You need some variety in that. And so what does natural mean to me? It's different for everybody. It's different for everybody because everybody's characteristics, facial characteristics, lips, labial dental dynamics, their facial characteristics, their complexion, their hair is different. And it's personality as much as it is the way somebody looks. When I see somebody's picture, they, they send me a picture in a virtual console. They say they want to improve their smile. When I see their picture, I already have an idea of how I think that smile should look based off of the personality that comes through in that photo alone. Like I can tell if somebody's going to be a little more flirtatious or if somebody's more of a creative spirit or somebody is spiritual. It all comes through in these photos, and especially when I'm talking to somebody, like I really get a good idea of who somebody is, and then you can design smile characteristics based off of personalities, and that 
looks more natural than anything, anything else we can do. Don't come to me and say, I, you can't do white teeth because white teeth isn't natural. Like, how white is too white? Well, believe it or not, there's outliers, people who are born with really white teeth, and you see these people, and there's no way they can be natural, but they are. They are naturally white teeth teeth. So people want to replicate that for themselves. They want those white teeth. So I can't sit here and say, you can't have white teeth. If you go too white, it's going to look fake. No, that's not necessarily true. What it is, is that you can go whiter, but we have to make sure that the veneer in itself looks like a natural tooth because it doesn't matter what color or what shade you want to make your veneer. If it looks like a veneer, it looks like a veneer. If we want to make it whiter and the veneer looks like a tooth, then we can get away with it. If we make sure the veneer looks like it belongs on you with your lips, your facial characteristics, and your personality traits, then it looks natural. So that, for me, is the difference between making something look natural and when something looks fake, whether or not it looks like it belongs on the person's face based off their facial characteristics, their lips, and their personalities.